Solving systems by graphing using the equations in y-intercept form. First of all, we have to ask ourselves the question, what is a system of equations? Well, a system of equations is at least two equations with the same variables. Here we have a sketch of two linear functions. We have the blue line and the red line, and the solution is the point where those two lines intersect, the point that they have in common. And that solution will be expressed as a x value and a y value. And you can also have two functions that have parallel lines, no solution, or you can have two lines that in fact are the same line, infinite solutions. Now, normally we talk about four ways of solving linear systems, substitution, elimination, graphing, and matrices, but we are going to focus on graphing. When you have a graphing calculator, I don't see a reason to use anything else. And this is what we're doing with the other solutions today. They go in the garbage can because we're going with graphing all the way. Now, here's a more detailed sketch of a system of equations. Here you have a green line and a blue line, and the point where they intersect is the solution. And that solution is x equals negative 1, y equals negative 5, or negative 1 comma negative 5. Now we're going to take our first system of equations, and we're going to go to our calculator and press the y equals key, and this screen we get with the y equals key. We put in our first equation, y equals 3x minus 2, and then we enter our sec second function, and you might notice the difference between a negative and a minus sign. It's really important when you enter functions in your graphic calculator where it leads with a negative sign to put that negative sign there first, and it's going to be minus 6, so let's use the minus sign for minus 6. Very important distinction. You get an error message or an incorrect solution if you do not properly make that distinction. Now, we go ahead and graph those two functions, and this is what it looks like. And we can find the intersection or the solution, but first we're going to go ahead and turn grid on by pressing second, then zoom, which gives the format menu. And then we highlight grid on, and then press graph, and we get our dots. Those dots can help us give us a perspective on seeing where the solution is. Now we're going to find the exact solution by pressing second, then the trace key, which gives you the calc menu, then five, which is intersect, and then enter, enter, enter. So enter three times, and we'll see our intersection is x equals negative one, y equals negative five. And here they are highlighted. Let's go do another system. And again, we press y equals, and we enter our two equations. Then we're going to graph them, and you can you see where they intersect? Uh, no, you can't. You can see it's above the screen. They're getting closer and closer together, but it's somewhere above the view screen. We're going to go ahead and try to solve them anyway. We're going to press second, trace, five, enter, enter, enter and we get our intersection of x equals 6.5, y equals 31.5. And what we're going to do now is go to our window view, and we're going to change the y max value to 35 in hopes of seeing the intersection point. And when we press graph from here, we do indeed see the intersection point up for quadrant 1, and we're going to find the solution again by pressing second trace 5, enter, 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 gives us the same solution. Whenever you have the solution, the x value solution, be somewhere between the x min value on your window view and the x max value, it'll give you a solution anyway, even if you can't, even if it's above or below the view screen, so you can't see the intersection point. Now we're going to enter, we're going to solve this system y equals 1 half x plus 12, and y equals negative x minus 6. And we're going to enter the two functions in our calculator. 
and notice that we have one half in parentheses and we're going to go back to standard menu by pressing zoom then six and this view screen we see that the two lines any two lines that have different slopes at some point are going to intersect and we see the intersection is to the left of the view screen someplace we're going to try to find it by pressing second trace five enter 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 well what is this we we pressed all the buttons but we get an error message here quit error no sign change well what's happened here is the intersection is outside of the domain of view screen it's to the left of it and what happens the intersection must be between x min and x max so it has to be in this case between negative 10 and positive 10 in order to not give us an error message and so what we're going to do is we're going to change this value of negative 10 and we notice it was to the left of the view screen so we're going to make it negative 20 and we graph it and we see in fact that the intersection is in quadrant 2 and we press second trace 5 enter 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 and we get x equals negative 12 y equals 6 so that is our solution now what we'd like you to do at this point is have you stop the video and solve this system by graphing then start the video again to see how you did okay you should have the intersection of x equals 1 y equals 2 so if you did that we assume you did everything right now let's uh, go ahead and summarize our video today the first thing we have to remember is to put the equation or functions in the y equal view the second thing we need to do is remember to press second trace 5 enter 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 Thank you for watching this video. We're going to have another video on, on solving systems of equations from functions in standard form. We'll see you back.